admiration. I want to start with Colonel and Tripta Thapar. Colonel Thapar, you made it an annual pilgrimage to climb the very mountain on which you lost your son Vijayant. I think you need to explain to young people today, aap kyun jate hain har saal Kargil? Aur aap usi, usi, you, you, you actually trek up the same mountain on which Vijayant fell in the line of duty for India. What, what does this yeah. annual pilgrimage mean to you, sir? Well, uh, actually, Varka, um, for the first 15, 16 years, I was going to the point where Robin fell, fighting. Thereafter, because of uh, age problems and acclimatization, they don't allow me to go up. So I just go up to the Pimple Adam base, which I think you will know. Nobody else. Yes. From where Batra put in the attack on 5140. So I yes. go up to there and uh, just beyond the valley, I can see the temple, Vijayan's temple. I pay my obeisance from there and I come back. So that is uh, in uh, the real state today. And uh, why I go there, there is a unwritten covenant between me and my son. He had written in his letter, please visit the place where your, we fought for your tomorrow. That very moment I decided that I will go and visit that place. That very moment, the war was just over. And uh, I went in uh, September. The debris of war was still all over. Some of the bodies were lying and uh, things like that, Pakistanis. And then uh, we saw all that. And the CEO yes. of Tu Rajarev, he was very gracious. He somehow managed to take me on a helicopter around and we landed at uh, North. And then we had a real, a real idea of what they had gone through. I had the glimpse because the men who had taken part in that battle were also there. They had been yes. called up and they showed me each and every detail of how the last moments of Vijayan took place, how bravely he fought, an exemplary kind of an officer and a man for the rest of the Indian army, his action there, with enemy just 15 feet away, uh, 15, uh, 20, uh, 15 meters away, and uh, a lot of gali galots going on. The Pakistanis were saying, Kafiro Bad Jao, Tum Nain Lat Sakte. And he was replying, Salo Tumara To, Bhagnega Bi Time, Guzarga, they said Tumara Janaza in the Kaila. That kind of a thing was going on that close quarter, when destiny had its own plans, the Pakistanis briefly stopped firing and he thought that this is the moment, the right moment to attack yeah. that bunker and capture it. He jumped across, he was hit on the head and he was martyred in his comrade's arms. No better death, Barka, no better death can be there for a soldier. With a rifle in his hand, enemy right in front, and you get hit and you fall in the arms of your comrade. There can be nothing better. But for a father, sir, you speak right now as a soldier, but for a father, you know, I'm crying listening to you. I'm 25 years old. We talk about this. Every year I cry. Every year I get goosebumps. And you, one doesn't need an anniversary to, to, to miss somebody. I'm sure you miss him every day. You've spoken like a true soldier when you say there's no better way to die. But as a father, what would you say, sir? Well, as a father, the gap is uh, the, that uh, uh, physical gap is there. Physical uh, absence is there. But we haven't allowed the physical absence to obliterate his presence in our house. We've got, we start our day with a prayer. In my room, we have a big portrait of his. I start a prayer from there. And I believe that everything happens when he wants to, something good happens is because of him. And when I want something, I stand in front of that portrait and I ask him, this should not happen, this should happen. 
that kind yes. of a thing. So life carries on. His physical body is not there. But his spirit is very much in our house and we make use of that spirit to uh, kind of uh, spread his message to everybody around, to the young, to the youth. Every day I am in some function or the other, speaking to young boys, girls, college boys, corporate people, uh, trying to motivate. Amazing. Using, using his spirit. Ama I use I can his see spirit. His I can see his photograph right right behind both of you. Tripta ma'am, uh, yes. mothers, you know, I often call I often call you, Meena ji, mother courage. Because the courage you have to show uh, and live with. Headlines fade. You are left with the memories. Are you able to be as strong as your husband? Though if I know you, you're even stronger than him. But uh, uh, good morning and whenever, whenever I see you, I, you know how I feel that you are speaking from Kargil. And I imagine that Barkha is in Kargil. Every time, when, whenever I see you, yes, 25 years have gone past and those memories are still very fresh. Those 558 brave hearts we lost there, they are always in my mind, in my thoughts, and in my prayers, I remember them whenever I don't even remember Vijayan, but I remember all of them because they were the ones, they were, they gave their blood to save their country. So, and as a mother, you see that pain is always there. Pain is always there and it will remain till the last minute. But yes, like Anand Hapar said, that if we have to motivate the present youth, we have to show some courage that is required to motivate the nation as a i just i tell young mothers also that you have to please devote some time towards your children because this is the time if you don't take care of them if you don't give them prop good values i think your children will not remember you and your child will be a ship without a rudder so this is what I always tell the young mothers. Barka, Tripta, pardon yes, sir. Pardon yes, sir. Me. You see, this is a pain that will never go, she says. But we have learned to live with it. It's a part of our life. And many times when we discuss between ourselves, the question arises, why Robin? So I have to tell her that um, if it was not Robin, it would be somebody else. And if there's nobody... There will be a Pakistani sitting there today. Please remember that. that Absolutely. But but sir, I think it's but I think Aaj ki generation ko yaad dilana chahiye. Young people who are in their early 20s, that the boys, boys who would be men as I call them, uh, who, who gave up their lives, Vijayant, Anoj, so many others. Let me assure you. 23, sir. Sir, umar kya thi? 22 saal, 23 saal. Let me assure you. Let the crisis come and you will have many returns and many Anujas, you know, and Vikram Bhatras and everybody, they will be there. This nation is great. It will produce this kind of people who will go there and once again... Of course it will. All I'm saying... All, uh, absolutely. But all I'm saying is we should appreciate that these were lives lost in the yeah. prime of their youth when they had their whole lives ahead and many of them saw their 